you're going to contemplate possibly playing, he's got King Jack. He knows there's a chance that he could have the best hand right here. How much is it? It's almost. Because Toto might be making some kind of move with a 7 8 suited, even a Queen 10 suited, possibly a pair of deuces where he'd be in a race. You got anything? There's many possibilities. I think you're drawing dead. Drawing dead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that gets a chuckle out of everybody because you're never drawn dead before the flop with any two cards, and it doesn't matter what your opponent has. Prahlad trying to make him talk, and what a response he gets. Well, every decision critical for these guys now because they are all one step closer to taking down this coveted championship. No harm, no foul. <laughs> Boy, throwing it all out there. It's a nice little phrase, though, in events. Look at that. I'm going to start using that. <laughs> no harm, no foul. I'm writing that down. Yeah, write that and down. It works. Smile, and then they fold. Oh, boy. Oh, I got the big hand this time. I'm learning things here, Mike. Yeah, did he? Yeah. Tens? Okay. <laughs> Ace King? Something like that. Yeah. Nice hand. Totally. Something not nearly okay, as good thanks. as that. <laughs> what do you have? King Jack. Wow. Well, we are down to the final four players. Winner tonight gets a million dollars, plus that coveted Tiffany's WPT Champions bracelet. The fame, the fortune, potential endorsement deals. Yeah. So much on the line at every WPT event at these final tables. Capturing a WPT title can be worth a lot more than the million dollars that you get here tonight. You know, you've only made one raise sure. in the last 14 hours I've played with you, other than all in. All right, the chip leader and now is every raise, like critiquing like Toto. 22 times it's all in, and once you raise, when you chipped up a little bit ago and you made a raise. Uh, Kevin pointing out that he plays a little bit about the all in man on the World Poker Tour, Hoyt Corkin. He's played a good short stack. That is true. It's 80 now, Toto. Oh. Yeah, we got to dwindle you down somehow. All right, back to this hand. Action's going to go to Todd Terry. He looks down at 7, 8. Blinds are 40 and 80,000 at the moment. Uh, Todd won't play that. And now the chip leader has picked up a pretty good hand, ace jack. Well, definitely going to play this on the button, no question about it. The dog comes down. He caps his cards with that little doggy. So when that goes in the cards, he's going to play the pot. And indeed he is. He raises it to 200,000. And Mr. Malibu going out, and now it's around to Toto again. Oh, look at this, the same hand he had a minute ago that he just moved all in with. The ace five of diamonds comes right back and picks it up again. The question is, what's he going to do with it? I'm all in. That's what he's going to do. Oh, he's going all in. He's going for it right here. It worked for him last time. Well, Kevin has called him. So Kevin well out in front with ace jack against ace five. Toto completely deflated. Kevin pumps the fist. He knows he's in great shape to eliminate yet another player at this final table. And here we go. Toto must win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. Well, Toto has been struggling all night, building up the short stack, but it could all be going away right now. Toto needs the luck. Can he get it? Here's the flop. And flop comes Jack 9 8 with two diamonds. Kevin pumps his fist because he flopped top pair, but he didn't recognize that Toto has a flush draw. So we have got a good sweat here. Toto looking for a diamond to make a flush. Oh, and hits it. How did you do that? Toto, you're not in Kansas anymore, my friend. He is right back in this thing with a draw out on the turn. Oh, doing the Toto dance. Oh, boy, and yeah, they're chanting here in L.A. Well, he's got some fans. Looks like half the Philippines is here to root him in tonight. Wow. Well, is this destiny for Toto? Huge double up for him. Four players remain. Stay with us as we return on the World Poker Tour. We're here for a while. We are here for a while now. My dad won a 10,000 for first low ball tournament a long time ago when 10,000 was just huge and you know I was a young man I was like wow what the heck 10,000 so I was like you know 
Tell me about poker. <laughs> Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Just like that, Toto doubling up, making a dead right there into the chip leader stack. And he did it by drawing out, Vince. Oh. It was ace-jack versus ace-five. Toto made a diamond flush to take down that pot to double up. Yeah! We still have four players left. This could be destiny for Toto. We will see. Let's go back down to the felt. Well, with that pot, Toto's moved into third chip position, as you can see. He's been on a short stack all the time at this final table thus far, but he is now moving in the right direction. Toto, who's been playing so deliberately tonight, pacing himself, lots of fakes and moves. You know, he got his money in with the worst of it, sucks out, and that's how you win titles. Timing is everything, in poker as in life. Who was it? I think it was Doyle Brunson that once said, you got to do the wrong thing at the right time to win in poker. Toto just proved that. I think it was either Doyle or David Hasselhoff. I'm not sure. <laughs> I didn't know you were so philosophical, Vince. Yes, yes. All right, here we go. Toto with a quick fold. Todd Terry out. Well, the battle of the blinds, the two chip leaders. Notice Kevin has capped his cards with that doggy. Every time he's done that, he's played the pot thus far. And he's going to play it here with a $200,000 bet. With a junk can, just 10-6. Trying to push Prahlad Friedman out. Yeah, Prahlad's got the 9-5 of clubs. He's got 80000 out there, so it cost him another 120000 to make the call. He's in position. Well, he's getting out more than 200000 bets. Those are raisin chips that he's getting out there with just a 9-5. He is Whoa. raising this pot to 600,000. He's turning the tides on Kevin. Well, what a perfect time to make a move here with this 9-5 because Kevin only has a 10-6. Now, in my mind, Kevin can only be thinking about moving all in or folding this hand. There's nothing else he can do with it. He opts to lay it down. So a nice move by Prowl out there to pick up that pot. I think he has X-ray vision or something. He can see through the cards. Just great timing by this young guy from Malibu. Right now standing by is the man who first taught him how to play, his father. It's really exciting to see him uh, doing so well and being, uh, you know, on the verge of a uh, great victory or at least a tremendous showing. I have a certain advice I give him before every tournament. Have fun, relax, stay focused and centered, and to uh, make every bet an easy bet. Being centered is key to surviving the roller coaster of being a professional poker player. You know, it's one of the few professions I know where you can work a really long number of hours and not only not have something to show for it, but have a loss to show for it. So you need an emotional balance and center to really survive that. That is the Buddha of poker right there. I'll tell you, that's great advice. I think every poker player should sit up and pay attention to that advice because I believe he's spot on with it. You've got to maintain your calm, cool, composed attitude at the poker table, even when you take bad beats or work long hours and lose money, as he was talking about doing. Yep. This hand, he looks right down and picks up ace-king. There you go. Here he comes in for 200000 Next to act is Toto, and with the button, he's got a big hand also, ace-nine of clubs. Well, we saw Toto go all in with the ace-five of diamonds couple times in a row. Let's see what he's going to do with the ace nine of clubs. This could be devastation. Oh boy, he doesn't know it, but right now he's tiptoeing through a minefield. So he better be real careful. Easy, Toto. Easy. He could implode. Toto, very oh, boy. gutsy here tonight, but he's good restraint. He's just calling. Well, he does just call here, but... Doesn't move all in. That was good for him. Math man Todd Terry going out. And Kevin gets away from that. So we have an interesting battle going on here. Ace King up against Ace Nine. Here's the flop. Oh, what a flop. It's come King Six Deuce with two clubs. Prolog hitting top pair, Ace Kicker, and a four plus for Toto. Well, I'll be very shocked if all the chips don't get in right here, right now. Prolod putting out, it looks like 350 grand. I'm all in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can't get away from that. He's gone all in. 
The standard play Cole. quickly called by Proline. Wow, he get the best end. So here we go. Once again, Toto in a position where he needs to make a flush to win the pot. He did it a minute ago against Kevin. Can he do it again? Yeah, Toto absolutely shocked. He says he call. I'm sure he calls. Top pair, big kicker. It's sweat time here at the bike. Toto trying to stay alive here. Well, the money has gone in. Toto needs some luck. Can he do it again? Stay with us. We're coming back with the conclusion of his hand in just a moment here on the World Poker Tour. Back to the World Poker Tour. Well, the money has gone in. The crowd is on its feet. Toto needs some luck. Will he get it? He's up against Prolot's ace king. Let's see what happens. Well, we've got the nut flush versus top pair and top kicker. As the cards lie, Prolot about a 70% favorite to win this pot. He's got to dodge a club or two running nines. Let's see if he can do it. We saw Toto stay alive by catching a flush a moment ago when he outdrew Kevin. Can he do it again? Not there. He does. And Jack of Spades on the turn. So we are down to the river. The only way Toto can win this pot is to make a flush on the river. Toto must catch a club to stay alive in this tournament. He needs a club. Can he catch one? No, Deuce of Spade comes off. So that's going to do it for Toto Leonidas, the top pro out of L.A., out tonight in fourth place. Uh, oh, he's so close to becoming a legend. But it's not to be for Toto. He'll take home 144,000. And right now, Prahlad Freeman is our new chip leader. We are down to three players here on the World Poker Tour. Stay with us. We're coming back with more exciting action from the WPT. All right, time for you guys to double me up so I can start playing some poker. We can have some fun. Play at the top of your game. Text Pro Tip to 46966 to get a poker tip from the WPT Pros and enter to win a thousand dollars in a WPT prize pack. Bicycle Casino has been in business for 25 years. This is our silver anniversary. We've just built a four million dollar event center, and Legends of Poker is our first event here. And we're really pleased to be able to have the World Poker Tour hosting their championship here. It really is the most beautiful poker room, I think, in California. When you have a legend like Doyle Brunson, who has won one of the WPT events here and really puts that touch of legend on our casino, it's known throughout the world. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Toto is gone. We are down to three players here on the World Poker Tour. And Vance, these are the three players that came to this final table as our three chip leaders. They're the ones now fighting it out for this coveted title and the million dollar first place prize. Okay, the legends of poker at the bike will continue. Let's go to the table. Well, there you see the chip counts as they stand and the prize money that's at stake here. I mean, the first place prize gets over a million. The guy who goes out next gets 230,000. So we're talking about an $800,000 difference between the guy who goes out next and the guy who wins big money on the line. Started out with 279 players here in L.A. Down to these three. And look at this. Prahlad Freeman opening up his game with just a four deuce. He's going to raise the 200,000. But Todd Terry behind him has said all in. Todd's got King Queen. Kevin and Prahlad quickly evacuate the premises here. So the math whiz out of Harvard taking down that pot. Todd Terry from Hoboken, New Jersey. Been a professional for two and a half years. Former lawyer. Also graduated from Harvard with an applied mathematics degree. Well, he better win this then. Well, Vince, I'll tell you, when you've got all those educational degrees and you decide to play poker for a living, that's sort of like saying that you're doing it my way, just like another guy from Hoboken, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> that is true. All right, back to this hand. Big hand here. Kevin quickly folding now. Prahlad with a quality hand, ace, queen of clubs. And he's put the chips out there, going to 200,000. Well, Todd Terry's picked up a pair of fours. I'm all in. And he's gone all in over the top uh -huh. again. Ooh. He's quickly been called by Prahlad, however. So here we go. Todd out in front with the two fours, but the classic race situation. The two over cards versus the under pair. You want to win poker tournaments. You got to win these races, whatever side you've got. 